The Old Wife by Charles Stuart Calverley, read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio. Part One. The old wife sat at her ivied door, butter and eggs and a pound of cheese, a thing she had frequently done before, and her spectacles lay on her aproned knees. The piper he piped on the hilltop high, butter and eggs and a pound of cheese, till the cow said, I die, and the goose asked, Why? And the dog said nothing, but searched for fleas. The farmer he strode through the square farmyard, butter and eggs and a pound of cheese. His last brew of ale was a trifle hard, the connection of which, with the plot, one sees the farmer's daughter hath frank blue eyes butter and eggs and a pound of cheese she hears the rooks caw in the windy skies as she sits at her lattice and shells her peas the farmer's daughter hath ripe red lips butter and eggs and a pound of cheese if you try to approach her away she skips over tables and chairs with apparent ease the farmer's daughter hath soft brown hair butter and eggs and a pound of cheese and i met with a ballad i can't say where which wholly consisted of lines like these part two she sat with her hands neath her dimpled cheeks butter and eggs and a pound of cheese and spake not a word while a lady speaks there is hope but she didn't even sneeze she sat with her hands neath her crimson cheeks butter and eggs and a pound of cheese she gave up mending her father's breeks and let the cat roll in her best chemise she sat with her hands neath her burning cheeks butter and eggs and a pound of cheese and gazed at the piper for thirty weeks then she followed him out o'er the misty leaves her sheep followed her as their tails did them butter and eggs and a pound of cheese and this song is considered a perfect gem and as to the meaning it's what you please and the poem this recording is in the public domain.